So I know it's not breaking anymore, but there's still pretty big news that I still wanted to show you. Jim Bridenstine, the director of NASA, announced back on April 17th that on May 27th at NASA down in Florida, Cape Canaveral, NASA will once again launch American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. They're going to do that through SpaceX, and they're going to launch two astronauts to the National Space Station on SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule atop one of their Falcon 9 rockets. Why is this such a big deal? Because we have not launched an American-made rocket, an American-made spacecraft from America with American astronauts since 2011 with the last space shuttle launch. Prior to the space shuttle, we went to the moon using the Saturn V rocket, and then we went to the space shuttle to be more reusable and developed other rockets to launch satellites to space. NASA thought about using their space launch system, SLS, to get astronauts to space, but SpaceX started developing their own system of rockets in the meantime. And these rockets are what NASA is going to use to send our astronauts back to space. First time in nine years. Prior to that, we've been using Russian-made Soyuz rockets to go to space. So Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, they're going to go back to space. They're going to go to the International Space Station. The first crewed test flight of Crew Dragon 2 sits right there on top of the Falcon 9 heavy rocket. These two astronauts will go to the National Space Station as part of NASA's commercial crew program, always having astronauts aboard the space station orbiting Earth. It'll be the first return of human spaceflight launch capabilities to the United States and the first launch of American astronauts aboard an American rocket and spacecraft since the final space shuttle mission on July 8, 2011. So we're going to go back to space. Why is this so big? Because what's beyond the space station go back to the moon, so like the Artemis program, or start expanding further to Mars. And we can only go if we have the technology. And so here's NASA's official announcement. Astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and then finally Mike Collins, now boarding the transfer van for the trip to the launch pad. Flashing their cameras as uh, the crew comes out. This is a very historical walkway. It's the same path that the Apollo astronauts took to go to the moon. The flying crew now departing from their crew quarters here at the Kennedy Space Center. So I can't wait, as a self-proclaimed NASA nerd, can't wait to see us back into outer space and to cover more exploration.